Oh, gravity? What? You know gravity? You know what Matthew McConaughey and the space demons? No, no, no. The other one. Is that the one with Matt Damon? He's on Mars and he's like real hungry? No. The other one. Is that the one with Matt LeBlanc where I don't know the plot? No, the guy who played Batman. Oh, oh, you're talking about Ben Affleck. No, no, no. The other guy who played Batman. Oh, yeah, George Clooney. That's it. You ever seen Graham? <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Brendan and Mitchell back from uh, Heck Media. Been a while. Hey, we got a camera. We got a camera, and uh, we're using it to start a series. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're calling it, remember? No, what is it called? <laughs> uh, we're going to start a series of uh, things that uh, you may or may not remember. I, and I didn't remember this one. Yeah, in this case, um, you remember Gravity? Like the Isaac Newton? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know, I experience it every day. Yeah. yeah, and also the movie. Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. So neither of us have seen Gravity, and uh, on a related note, about a million other movies. So we're going to go ahead and, and just start off a series where we watch things where we fix our gross negligence. A lot of our references are like a couple years behind. Yeah. So or uh, really specious. Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna try to catch up. We're gonna try to connect with the common man. I hope you all enjoy it. All right. So we're back. Well, we just uh, we just watched Gravity. You know, I understand why it's popular. Like, I get it, right? Like, for a big blockbuster movie, it has all of the things you want to hit, right? Sure. But I think we had the luxury of not getting caught up in the hype. It is not great. I didn't think it was that great. So here's my thoughts, right? The, the parts that were good were really, really good. Okay, okay. And the parts that weren't, really, really weren't. So you have- That's fair, okay. You, you have moments where the cinematography is great and it looks awesome and they do some really, they make some really good choices. Uh, there's a moment uh, that they spin back the camera to kind of look at the, like the HUD on Sandra Bullock's mask and that's super cool. But then you have parts where the perspective looks messed up and you can't tell who's seen the, the whole not. beginning, yeah, the, the whole beginning was, there was that, like, two minute shot. It, it, maybe it wasn't two minutes, but it felt like two minutes. I would, just, it, it just I lingered think it actually, out. I think it actually was oh, two minutes. Lord. Where it was a real, the real quiet picture of Earth. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's nice, and maybe that was really good in the theaters, but I feel like when you make a movie, you have to think more than just the theater. And, um, as you pointed out as we were watching it, it doesn't start off super great. It doesn't really get off to the right start. It's got, like, a couple of real corny, lame jokes. We love corny, but it was corny to a point where it was distracting. It was taking, took me out of it. It was very, all right, that was clearly somebody in a writer's room. Yeah, um, I will say, I really like George Clooney in this, in this movie. Yep. Sandra Bullock, on the other hand. I have some kind of vendetta against her, apparently, because I just, I don't like Sandra Bullock. I, she was objectively fine. And this the thing, like, I know that. Like, in my head, I know that she's fine. But I was watching her the whole time, like, uh, Sandra Bullock. I just have to uh, do my part. She wasn't bad. No, she did a good job in this, in this role. It was good. She acted well. She played it all well. I don't like Sandra Bullock, I guess. I'm gonna break down real quick. Here's the good, here's the bad. The story right. was just a series of increasingly improbable improbabilities. Yeah. There's a big curve where it's like, okay, this could happen. That could, uh, uh, oh, and oh, yeah. You uh -huh. get, yeah. Yeah, it, it got a little ridiculous at the end. Now you get a pass. Mm -hmm. You're a movie. You kind of have to expect to make a good story. A lot of things are gonna go weirdly. Right. All right. So the next issue I had with the storytelling, the character backstories were largely irrelevant. Yeah, they, they really wanted me to care. Especially about Sandra Bullock's character. Yeah. And that aside, looking at her character in the movie, I didn't care. And they did the whole thing about her daughter. Yeah, they gave her, her... Yeah, had a dead daughter. Yeah, they gave I, her a daughter and she was dead. And she brings it up a couple more times through the movie just as a as a pull. Like, you know, pull on your heartstrings a little. It, it didn't really matter. The only backstory that I cared about, George Clooney's character's backstory, he starts telling the story about it was Mardi Gras in the 80s. And he's at the end of the story and they have to cut it off. And they never go back to it. Yeah. That's so aggravating because it's like, I want to know. I feel like I have to go and buy the script they went to shoot with to figure out if they wrote the whole thing down or not. 
die. As the last, like, note of, of something bad, mm -hmm. we should get to the thing that we uh, both obviously took issue with. There was a scene in the movie where Sandra Bullock had finally given up hope, yep. and she had shut off the oxygen in the escape pod that she had finally managed to get into because she couldn't figure out how to get any further in her journey back home. And they brought back Clooney's character for about five minutes. He knocked on the window of the thing she was in and popped in, and we were both thinking, like, wow, she should be dead. About a minute before the reveal happened, I'm like, what if this is just him, like, oh, it's just her as, like, she's dying. It's her, it's and her she last had, thoughts. Yeah. And Mitchell said that, and I knew it was going to be that. George Clooney was giving her the, basically, the instructions on how to continue, like, here's how you save yourself. Too good to be true, I figure. And turns out I was right. Yeah. Unfortunately. We got one more gripe, so we'll get to it after we say some of the good stuff. Now, we already talked about how they had some, some real good cinematography in there. Now, there was also some scenes where I found myself gripping my glass a little tighter than I expected to. Real tension. Like, they did some good job building tension with a lot of the scenes. I think there are certain points where they didn't do as well as their contemporaries, but there are other points where I think they did it way better. Yeah, uh, now, Namely, the first time, the first station they were on, when that got destroyed. Yes. That was really good. Like, it really made you, like, oh, like, recoil. So that's something that really stood out to me yep. as far as far as like a real gripping mm -hmm. moment. So they did a lot of that pretty well. Yeah. And it was one of those movies that going into it, uh, we both knew that it was, it was kind of lauded for its its scientific accuracy in a way. The pop scientists were, you know, Bill Nye and then Neil deGrasse Tyson, they're all, oh, it's, it's so accurate, it's so good. And yeah, to yeah. be fair, looking at it, as far as the physics go, so a lot of these movies have a, a tendency to kind of go a little bit sci-fi just yeah. for the viewership. But I think this movie did a good job in using the technology that we we currently yes. have and still make it interesting. Do you have any more good? I really liked uh, George Clooney's character, not just because George Clooney, but he did this thing where he had the music, yeah. the, the country music, and I thought oh, the, yeah. the country music was really cool, because um, it was very Americana, but it was very space cowboy. He's like the Shane, he's the, you know, he's like the Wyatt Earp, he yeah. is of space, and yeah. I think a lot of good sci-fi is basically just spaghetti western movies yeah, so in space. <laughs> So I guess uh, we should probably address our final gripe with the movie. The ending was, I can see why people think it was good. I don't. So, I hated the ending. For anybody who doesn't remember, Bullock crashes into the water, finally landing back on Earth. She crawls back onto land in a bit of ham-handed symbolism. Oh, yeah, they go look at evolution. She's like crawling and then she gets up on a knee. But she yeah. comes back on land and uh, they show a real triumphant shot where they pan up from, you know, the ankles up and they show and she's standing and she's strong and movie ends. And so this could be anywhere on Earth. So we don't know if she's stranded on some random island or she could she could be five feet from a city. Look at the sci-fi element of it. Uh, are you familiar with the Twilight Zone episode, I Shot an Arrow into the Sky? So, I Shot an Arrow into the Sky was the episode where there's a bunch of spacemen, they go up, it's a botched launch or whatever, and they end up on what they think is like Mars or a foreign planet. But it turns out there's some Nevada. The cool thing about that, the way that ended, is the guy's walking very much like the end of gravity. He's walking up this hill and then he looks over and boom, it's the sign on the highway that's like Nevada. Oh, oh my god, I was on Earth the whole time. Yeah. I feel like gravity took that step and then cut it, right? And it kind of defeated the fact that she still has a long way to go. It's just, it's it's a little frustrating where they were obviously trying to imply like she's fine, but they didn't, they could have just taken an extra 30 seconds or whatever to really just drive it home and, and show like. Here, here you go. She's good. But overall, I think it was good, but I'm not mad that I didn't see it when it came out. Yeah, it's not something I'm upset that I missed. It. On the on the should I have watched it then scale. Over here is like, eh. Oh, okay, and sure, then, sure. Okay, sure. and All then right. yeah. damn it, like yeah. I missed it. I'm gonna put it at a, eh, I don't really care. Yeah, I'm not sad I, I missed out on this one. It was good. It, I look. It was worth the watch, but I'm, I'm not mad that I missed it. If somebody, if somebody said like, I'm looking for a space movie, I'll ask, hey, seen Gravity? It's pretty good. If you haven't watched it, I don't think we ruined it too bad. Thanks for showing up for the first episode of... Hey, remember? Hey, remember? Remember? Yeah. I, uh, I had a good time. It was fun. I, this is definitely something we should do again. Down and, in the comments. And hey, what do you remember? Yeah, what do you remember? What do you Because if you tell remember? us there a movie from a few years ago, we probably haven't watched it. <laughs> it's, it is likely. If it's a movie, if it's TV, if it's like a video game... Remember it. Smash that motherfucking like button. Smash that motherfucking Alright everybody, thanks for watching. Hey. Uh, hopefully we'll see you again in another uh, another episode of... Hey, you remember? Hey, I hope I do. Alright, well you probably won't, because otherwise we probably wouldn't do an episode on it. That, would, that is the point. Yeah, right. There we go. Well, thanks for watching everybody. Right. Good to see you. Hey.